Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, what do you say we do a random ranking today? Let's go to my movie collection behind me, pick out three movies at random, and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. And then I'll dive into that comment section and we'll talk about cinema, movies, film, all those things. So, uh, yeah, let's, I, was gonna, I was going to just lean back and grab three right next to each other, but I think I'm going to get up. Let's see what we can find over here. Um, all right, actually, I'm not supposed to be looking at these. I just started, like, picking them out. But no, the point is randomness. Randomness. Right over here. Then maybe this one right here. We got to make sure I've seen them. Ooh, I feel a snapper. I love a good snapper case. Never seen it. Oh, my goodness. Actually, I think I did watch this one and this one. Okay, um, okay, so I have to put back New York, New York, I need to watch this movie. Um, this is Martin Scorsese. Uh, I believe this was recommended to me. Um, was it, who recommended this? Maybe, who recommended this? I don't know. One of my friends here on YouTube recommended this to me, if I remember correctly, but I have not seen it yet, so um, can't rank it. Here, let's do this little trick. Let's pick something right there. Oh yeah, this is good. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. So this one here, Rooster Cogburn, this is a sequel to True Grit. Not the movie by the Coen brothers, the other True Grit with John Wayne. So this is the follow-up film, Rooster Cogburn um, and The Lady. See that? <laughs> uh, Catherine Hepburn. Um, I, why did I watch this? Did I? Yeah, okay, so I watched, this was like, because I haven't watched this physical media copy, but my stepdad was really into Westerns and he would tape them on like DVR or whatever. You know, he would, he would put them on there and every once in a while I would watch them too, but I specifically watched this one because um, I had watched the Coen Brothers one. So he had this recorded to the TV and I watched the Coen Brothers one and then I was like, I wanna watch the original. And then I watched this one also like as a follow-up. Um, but I remember, I remember thinking that the Coen Brothers one was superior when looking at True Grit. And then this one, I think I just, like it it felt like it just kind of washed over me like I didn't absorb much of it at all it wasn't um, something that felt uh, like um, uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for like I, I I didn't I never felt locked into it you know and maybe there were other things going on does that ever happen to you you're at home you're watching a movie and you're just not giving it your full attention. Like nowadays we have phones. I don't know if we I had a phone back then, that sort of, you know, smartphone. But now, you know, like I always try, if it's a movie I've never seen before, I try not to use it as a background movie. I don't work, I don't look at my phone, I do, don't do any of that because I want to give it my full attention. And this movie, I had a difficult time doing that. And I didn't even have a phone. It was just like, you know, there was a window out there and I'm looking out the window, that sort of thing. All right, next we have Dancer in the Dark. You want to talk about Bleak? This is a Bleak film. Uh, Lars von Trier. So, you know his body of work. You know you're, you're in for something. And uh, my wife showed me this. Uh, I, I don't know if it's like one of her favorites or something. I, I know she likes Bjork. So I think that's why. But uh, we actually picked this up from a local mom and pop shop um, <laughs> that used to be in town. Uh, I don't know if it was a mom and pop shop, but you know, an independent video store. And when they were going out of business, they put all their movies for sale and we bought a bunch of them. And this one is cool because it, it was a pick of the week by Stephanie. Look at that. What does Stephanie say about Dancer in the Dark? Depressing. Really depressing. But the story is original and the music is cool. So yeah, I agree with that fully, completely. And again, we got a, a cool snapper case here. I love the snapper cases. 
there's just some sort of like a uh, nostalgia to them while actually I didn't have many snappers myself like back in the DVD days this is more from like post DVD day collecting um, but I don't know there's something about them that make that feels cool sort of VHS -y about them like DVD is just kind of like yeah whatever a DVD but if it's a snapper case then I feel like that elevates it to some sort of like nostalgic realm all right, next we have Bernie uh, by um, Texas guy, Slacker and School of Rock, and uh, why isn't his name coming to me? I've met him. I met him. Uh, he was very cool. Why? I, I'm sorry, Richard Linklater. I don't know why, but your name just slipped my mind. Yeah, I met Richard Linklater actually at a screening of Bernie. Is that what we were watching? Yeah, we were watching Bernie, and... It was amazing because I was just like looking to, you know, he was like, hey, can I have your autograph or whatever? Did I get his autograph? Yeah, I did because I had him sign my copy of School of Rock. And uh, like when we posed for the picture, I went like this, you know, metal, rock and roll, School of Rock. And then he turns to me like I thought we were just going to get the picture sign the movie and then leave and then he turns to me and he's like oh you want to know more about this and I was like yeah because he's from Texas and I guess there's like a football team out there uh, like a college football team that like does this I don't know it's either this or this or something I don't know that you know like a bull horns and he was talking about that with me and it was just like so weird because and he was asking me questions it was just so weird to meet like this celebrity who was interested in what I had to say, had to think. He was asking me questions. It was just totally awesome, totally threw me off because, again, I was just expecting a uh, quick little, yeah, sign it, okay, picture, hey, nice to meet you, see ya, bye. But he wanted to hang out with me. He was looking for that peer hangout with peer hangout. And it was just, <laughs> I don't know, it was cool. That's happened to me. Um, how many times has that happened to me? Two times, I guess, with celebrities. Um, Tilda Swinton was the same way. I met her and she, like, she fell in love with my mustache. Um, she was so cool. She just was, like, wanted to hang out with me. She was showing me off to people, like, here, look at this guy. And it was, I don't know, it was cool. But, yeah, Richard Linklater, awesome dude. I, I just, it was so cool to meet somebody like that. And I had no expectations like that. I, again, I thought I was just gonna get a signature and a picture and then he was gonna go on his way and I'd go on mine, but he wanted to just like hang out and talk. And we talked about this, you know, um, Kiss, Dio, uh, the football team and just rock and roll in general. Uh, we talked about my copy of School of Rock cause he'd never seen it before. Um, it was awesome because uh, because he's you know he's seen all the different covers he's like oh I've never seen this version where'd you get this one because what I originally had was a two pack of Orange County and School of Rock and I was like if I I don't want him to sign that because he didn't direct Orange County so I was like I need to go buy a copy of uh, School of Rock and I remembered at Michaels which is an arts and crafts store they were selling it for like super cheap or whatever so I went there grabbed it and it had a unique cover that I'd never seen on it before and he hadn't seen it either and he wanted to talk about it and it was just so cool anyway Bernie is a really good movie um, I what I like about it is that it has sort of like uh, talking head interviews in it and they are um, uh, I think I think it's a mixture of real people and actors I can't remember I know they're actors because I remember he does uh, quite a few of them um, Matthew McConaughey, but I think maybe real people do them too, or I might be mixing up another movie that does that, but uh, I don't know. I liked that, and also, um, Bernie was living, I, just th I think I can say this. For some reason, I'm thinking maybe he didn't want people to say this. Maybe I'll keep that quiet. Um, <laughs> I, I, think, I think maybe that was privileged information. So scratch that. I didn't say anything. Um, but anyway, like this movie, and I think he should make a sequel to it. There's more to the story, and I'm not going to talk about it. I'll let him do it. 
Okay, so how are we gonna rank these? Um, I think, you know, honestly, uh, I know Rooster Cogburn is gonna be last, but now I'm trying to figure out if I want Dancer in the Dark or Bernie number one. You know what, I had such a fun time thinking about seeing Bernie with Richard Linklater and telling that story to you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and someday I'm gonna do a video of all the um, different people I've, I've, I've met. So, um, you know, we'll, 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 I'll expand on that story another day, but I'm going to go Bernie, I think number one, just because it was so good to relive those memories as I was talking to you and then dancer in the dark, great movie, but extremely depressing. I don't even know if I could bring myself to watch it again. And then rooster Cogburn, a movie that felt so insignificant that I don't think I could ever bring myself to watch it again. Maybe I would just to try and, um, uh, dial into it a little bit more. So actually, I, I can imagine myself doing that. So yeah, Bernie, Dancer in the Dark, then Rooster Cogburn. That is my ranking. But I want to know if you've seen these three movies. And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.